Soon, Rasputin was czar above the czar. Palace nobles, amid suspicions that Rasputin and the German-born Tsarina were plotting to make peace with Germany, conspired to do away with the mad mystic. The leader of the assassination conspiracy was one of the wealthiest men in Russia, Prince Yusupov. On the night of December 29, 1916, Yusupov and a cabal of nobles, including the zealot Puriskovich, held a party. Yusupov was able to lure Rasputin with the promise of the affections of his beautiful young wife, Irina. In that room with the prince and Rasputin were three cakes and two glasses of wine, each of them laced with poison. The idea was that the cakes didn't get him, the wine would. To cover the noise that could ensue, a record album was put on upstairs by the co-conspirators. Incongruously, the recording was George M. Cohan's sprightly, I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy. When a conspirator observed, that creature has swallowed enough cyanide to kill a regiment, a rattled Yusupov went to get his pistol and returned. Yusupov pulls out his revolver and shoots Rasputin in the chest. Rasputin falls to the floor. The doctor pronounced him dead, and they went back upstairs for a celebratory glass of wine. During this time, Prince Felix had an uh, uncanny feeling that something was wrong and went back into the room, looked at Rasputin, shook him, and at that time, Rasputin opened his eyes, eyes that Prince Felix described as green viper eyes. Rasputin then ran across the courtyard, Perishkovich following him and uh, firing four shots, the first two of which missed, the second two hit him, the first one in the back, the second one in the head, at which point they all congregated around him, were kicking him, and then wrapped the body in the uh, carpet and uh, bound him up and took him over to the Neva River where they dumped his body in and uh, was discovered the next day. Poisoned, stabbed, beaten, and shot, he still broke his bonds and smashed his way through thick ice. Only drowning finally stopped him. Instead of the desired effect that the assassins had wanted to achieve, namely uh, breaking the hold of Rasputin over the Tsar and the Tsarina, the two actually become more withdrawn and, and more recalcitrant and more resistant to any kind of compromise. 